All right, y'all. What's good? It's your boy here to give you guys the review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 4, Episode 1. Y'all know when I do this review, I gotta wear my Moniz t-shirt. I'm gonna fucking wear it. Okay? We're we gonna talk about my girl in a minute. All right? But I, but I, I got to wear it. I mean, it's my girl. So, I'm not really going, as it stands, I'm not gonna sit here and dig too, 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 too deep because it, it, like, it's the first episode everybody kind of coming back in the fold and shit, so we really ain't getting much of most of the storylines and shit, but we're gonna talk about it, okay? In terms of drinks, I'm just drinking water. I already drank a fucking glass of Long Island, because it's been one of them days. Y'all ain't come here to hear me talk about my days, but I gotta rehydrate, because y'all not gonna work out more than this shit. And I really gotta work out all this shit right here, you know, just saying. But anyway, so, first thing I know is we got Safari, we got pork and beans and hot dog, and Lyrica in the opening credits. I'm like, okay, come, come, come on through, Lyrica. I don't know if Safari was in the opening credits last time, but you know, congrats, congrats, because I think he and Ray J, I think Fizz are the only men that are in the opening credits, and the only other franchise that does that is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and that's Stevie J. So you know, congrats, congrats. So we start off with Keisha. You, oh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> not Keisha Cole. We start with Pokemon Means and Hot Dogs talking about her motherfucking career and whatnot. She's starting over. It's a resurgence. I don't give a fuck. She's um married to this guy named Gib. They have a baby. Pending a divorce. Moving on. Uh Hazel Lee uh, with this boy named Rose Burgundy. Okay. And that, that's her dude. That's her dude. Apparently, she upgraded from Cat Williams. Apparently. And she's doing this women's empowerment. So, first we had... Hasseline Hernandez doing women's empowerment. We got Shitty Ho Neal on Basketball Wives doing women's empowerment. Now, hey, look, look y'all, we, we not been doing all this motherfucking women's empowerment bullshit. We ain't doing it. Now, Hazel don't fuck with Tierra because Tierra is friends with Mystica, her arch nemesis. I got an issue with that. I'm going to talk about it briefly. My whole thing is this. I don't give a fuck who don't like who. I can be friends with whomever. As long as somebody ain't carrying the bone to take a bone, we all fucking good. But hey, it is what the fuck it is. And like I said, we know she don't fuck with Masika for, you know, obvious fucking reasons. It is what the fuck it is. And I was just trying to figure out why why the, why the fuck's Rose Bergen there? Sucking toes. Suck, now, here's the thing. You could suck toes and quick cream off toes and shit. I don't want to fucking see it. I don't want to fucking see it. I'm just saying. Moniz has, is moving in with her girl. Uh, her name is AD. She's swimming the lady pond. It is what it is. I'm still waiting. But it is what it is. So they're moving in together. In walks Masika. Masika, still baby mama, Chafetti Wap. She said she had a snapback. Bitch, where? I don't fucking see it. But okay, you had a snapback. Then come in Zell. This uh, Celeb Silas is also the friend of Tia Marie. All four of them had a nice little kiki. I laugh. I ain't finna do a motherfucking play by play. What the fuck is going on my wins? Rick Ross. What? Dream? What the fuck? A new series called Sign. Hmm. Might have to watch it. But it was a whole lot of back for Caddy Caddy goodness. You know, got a good kiki. That's about it. Oh, okay, so it seems like they go bring the drop on the first episode, damn it, I'm here for it, and it seems like some of what we saw in the trailer is actually going to come tonight, so, whatever. So you got Safari, Fizz, and Gib, who they also call, I think his name is Booby, all right, uh, and you know, they're playing b-ball. Safari, single. Fizz, no fucking storyline at this point. And Booby slash Gib the made some mistakes and this, that, and third, and yeah, 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 with Keach Cole. Don't nobody get motherfucking give care. Now we got Brooke Valentine, like I said, you know, I loved her. I'm mad <clears throat> she stopped doing music, but she said she stopped to raise a kid. Can't be fucking mad at that. So now she's bad to sit here and do that damn thing. You know, again, I hope that she does what she can do, get what she can get, get the fuck off this motherfucking show right quick. But, um, you know, She's uh, dating this guy named Marcus. He's a producer, been helping her with her music. They've been together for a year, and she says that once she found out that he was divorced, that she jumped right on that. But I think we all know 
from the trailer. He ain't fine. He ain't divorced. You know, he about to get one. So we're going to see how that shit play out. Hazel Lee has her event. Zale Mo and Masika come. They're drawing faces on one of her billboard things, which I think that's a little bit much. But again, hey, I've been known to be Pettis. So, you know, I'm Prince Pettis. So I can't really be too mad. Uh, I think Zelda brought some fucking ear muscles drowning out the fucking horrible music. I thought that shit was funny, but it was still petty. Hey, look, and we can't be bad. We're here to watch the fucking petty. So they're giving us petty on the first motherfucking episode. Hazel comes out the chopper, and I'm saying here like, okay, that is so not original. You're trying to be Nicki Minaj child from the Bang Bang video. And last that I checked, didn't Todd and Candy already do? The chopper thing, I'm going to need for y'all to not sit here and start recycling shit from Real Housewives of Atlanta and also fucking music videos. I need some originality from you, Hazel Lee. I understand that you, you know, you starting to be plastic. You're trying to model after a plastic bitch named Nikki, but let's stop doing that. We, we can't do that. We got to sit here and motivate. Step that shit up. <clears throat> now, uh, Hazel Lee does her performance and shit, and of course... The people that she invited that she has beef with, mostly Masika, but Zell was also giving it. Moni's really wasn't doing that, from what I saw. Kudos to my girl. And Hazel Lee got mad at his thing. She has the mic. So as long as you have the as long as you have the mic, everybody can hear you. And again, why you gotta sit here and deal with the motherfucking quote unquote peasants? You have the mic. So you can sit here and roast the shit out of her ass. And she can't say shit back because they can't hear her because they can hear you. She gets down there. She starts talking there. You know, woo wop the woo. Masika throws a drink. And, you know, I think Hazel do the motherfucking mic. Not even a tussle. They get escorted out. And that's pretty much the end of that. And she calls herself the queen. Uh, you reign the queen. Okay. But, all right. All right. If you say so, I'm going to let you have it. All right. <laughs> Again, they like I, I'm gonna be bad if Love and Hip Hop Hollywood is giving us all this drama in the first motherfucking episode that y'all are seeing, and this shit does not fucking sustain. But anyway, Brooke meets with Lori, which is uh Marcus's mother. Okay, now he was apprehensive about the meeting up, and from the previews, I didn't know who that was. I thought it was maybe like a cousin or a sister or whatever, but that's his mother, and you know she even said that you know. He tells a lot about you. He even says that you're the one. Woo, wop de woo. But she says that he's not ready to walk down the altar and let me talk to you woman to woman. Which I'm just like, damn. But it stops there. But we know what she told him. But we're going to find out later. Like, it's a big fucking surprise. They could have kind of kept that out and let it be a surprise, but it's not a surprise. So then uh, Hazel, E, and Tierra, they meet up. Now, Hazel whole thing is Tierra continues to violate the um, girl code, you know, saying that she got um, did a trap with Bird even though he fell out, but on some real shit, hey, you got to make your money, you feel what I'm saying? And now y'all let me know if I'm wrong for this, but if, I mean, are you going to sit here and block a friend for making their money with a motherfucker that you don't fuck with? I mean, they can make their money and you still got to talk to the motherfucker, but somebody... Me, personally, I can't let a friend stop their hustle. They want to sit here and do some shit with a motherfucker that I don't fuck with. Again, as long as y'all don't talk about me and you don't bring that shit back over here, we Gucci. But then you have Tierra talking about how she lived with her, which we saw that from season one. They fell out about that. When she uh, broke her nose, facts, Tierra was right there consoling her. But Hazel is mad that she has befriended or has been kicking it with Masiga. So again, Hazel has a whole thing of if I don't fuck with somebody, then you don't fuck with that person. I don't know. That really seems very, very elementary to me. Again, y'all let me know if I'm fucking wrong. Again, we all can agree to disagree. But they sit down, <clears throat> they get to talk, and they really didn't fucking get anywhere. And one thing is, you know, I know they talk about old money, new money type shit, but you can truly tell that Hazel is new money and dare we say it, fucking fake money. Because everything is about desire this. This is what I got. Woop, wop, de woo. And <clears throat> I think we all know motherfuckers that got money, they don't dress like they have money because that money is sitting in the bank. That money is doing other things. They the motherfuckers, when you go to their fucking house, you see they got money. But they don't have to sit here and show you that they have money, which leads me to believe she really ain't got money. Now, 
Tierra says that, you know, she sits here and rents all her shit. And apparently, well, not even apparently, Hazel said that she's been doing credit card fraud shit. That kind of got up under Tierra's skin. We don't know if that's true or not. Tierra decides to get up and walk away. They exchange words. And she says, you know what? You trying to be a nigga you want to be, but you can't be her. Even said that you see this natural face. You can never have this, which I'm sorry. That was a fucking read. And as she walks away, Hazel decides to throw a plate. Tierra throws water in the glass. But I think Hazel only does this shit the second time one episode because she knows that security is there. But I guarantee she won't turn up when security isn't there. I guarantee it. Okay, <clears throat> Keisha Cole is in the studio doing a song. Song sound cute. Mm-mm, okay, and I swear Keisha Cole is really trying to model her career after Mary J. Blige. She ain't no Mary. She forever in some motherfucking heartbreak, some heartache. But hey, you know the shit sound good. So we we gonna see. We gonna see. Um, <clears throat> she was with her uh, baby daddy. I'll give her. I'll give her. I'll give her. Because <clears throat> if this gonna be her motherfucking storyline, hey y'all, I'll give her. Okay. So, you got Hazel sitting down with Nikki. Now, Nikki's whole thing is, you know, she mad at the trio for turning up at um <clears throat> Hazel's event. So, she's going to help Hazel get revenge on Masika. Now, my whole thing is this. It's starting to look like, okay, Hazel, you really not going to have that much of a storyline other than you getting back with um <clears throat> Safari. Because Safari then sat here and popped and became the breakout comedic star of this particular uh franchise so she ain't got a motherfucking storyline so she has to insert herself into shit i'm so fucking serious <clears throat> okay tubberware need to sit her ass the fuck down because somebody go sit here and give her ass a nice little right hook and go sit here and shift all that shit in her motherfucking face i'm, I'm super super serious i ain't even fucking playing right now <clears throat> so she wants to help her out with revenge so they start talking about tiara because Hayes brings a tiara and then, <clears throat> of course, Nikki has to insert herself in that saying that, well, you know, I try to help her. Woo, woo, woo. Now, his thing, yes, she did. Yes, she did. But you don't help people to sit here and say, hey, I tried to help this person because now what were your true intentions? You really weren't trying to help that fucking person. You just wanted the motherfucker shine off the shit. I can't. <clears throat> now, Nikki's plan is to bring, now, this is how we going to urge her in. Uh, Alexis Scott, and that's how we do it, okay? So that was kind of cool. I like how you did that, Mona. I like how you did it, to bring in her. And, <clears throat> you know, pretty much, um, what's that girl name? Hazel pretty much says that, okay, well, we all got one thing in common, but seek the fuck to all of our men. Now, let's be clear, <clears throat> with um, old boy and Nikki was fucking with, there was a lie being told there. So, yes, she was, but... I think his name was Molly Maul. Can't really blame that one on Masik. I really can't. Now, her fucking with Berg, she was grimy as fuck for that shit. Grimy as fuck. This shit with Alexis guy and whatnot. I got it. Y'all was fucking this, that, and the third. But look, <clears throat> most of y'all sitting here chasing motherfuckers and trying to see how these motherfucking babies, but you ain't trying to get married. I ain't got no motherfucking time. I don't fucking care about you and your hurt feelings. But... Hazel knows where <clears throat> she be at, her little spot or whatnot. So they're going to sit here and they're going to come and crash it. Again, it's shit like this where <clears throat> I don't really think Masika has hands. But again, you can't bring your ass to somebody fucking event and be on that fuck shit. Now, unless you like old girl from last season who snatched, um, <clears throat> damn it, what was fucking Willie Taylor's girl name? She showed up, showed the fuck out, and sat here and snatched wigs and every motherfucking thing. So unless you're doing that, don't come to nobody event unless you're ready. All right, so we got Brooke. <clears throat> it really ain't a whole lot to say here, but I'm, I'm about to talk about some shit, okay? <clears throat> so she's wearing her maid outfit. I'm like, come on now. You you can't be Molly the maid for, for, you know, Hollywood, but I will say that that body bag is body is banging i ain't gonna fucking lie but anyway why the fuck we here but you know she uh drops the bomb you know just like so when were you gonna tell me that you were still married and you know his whole thing is uh well he's about to get a paralegal and he says in a confession which i don't know why he said this shit in the confession but every time you know they try to get the paper signed there's always a distraction so you still fucking her <clears throat> and she's like, you know, don't, 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 because he's trying to, he pulled, he, he pulled, he pulled that slick nigga move. I, that mo most of us, and here's the thing, ladies, y'all don't fall for it, don't fall for it. 
when you in the midst of arguing and he ain't got no motherfucking comeback, that when he try to get up and hug you all close and you know, don't don't fall for it. Don't don't fall for it. We we know toys for that shit. Don't fall for it. Because if she was serious, you couldn't catch it. You could have grabbed a knife like she could have grabbed a knife like nigga. You don't back your ass the fuck. She she could have did. I was hoping she would have did it. But it seemed like she uh gonna fall for the okie doke. I don't know if she truly falling for it or she's gonna let this thing progress until we get to the end. Part of me feels this shit is fishy, it's a storyline. But hey, but hey, we're gonna fucking rock with it. We're gonna rock with it. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So it ends with the karaoke. So <clears throat> you have A D Momo and Zell. Momo, of course, is up there doing her thing. Now, Mas yeah, Masika's not there because apparently she's in the studio right now. Part of me feels that she's not there <clears throat> because she knows uh, Alexis is in the building. Now, Alexis, Nikki, and Hazel come in, starting some shit, asking where she's at. Apparently, Zell had talked some shit about Nikki saying that she was cheap-ish and these two go back and forth or whatnot, and Alexis <clears throat> had some words with him, and he was like, I think he said he don't do something with bad bitches, but he reads bad bitches. I guess that struck a chord with her. So she throws a bag at him. He throws a drink at her. She throws a drink at him. I think there was a second drink or some shit like that, and Alexis' whole thing is let her know that I'm here. Now, <clears throat> that's, that's how the shit ended. I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to talk briefly about something that I said on Trending Topics. If y'all haven't seen the Trending Topics video, go ahead and check that shit out. It's lit every motherfucking Sunday. <clears throat> but I'm going to say this. The easiest way, like, because Basika apparently is bumped down because she was supposed to be uh, main cast, but because she did not want to film with Alexis, she's now being bumped down. Now, here's the easy thing. The easiest way around it is Play that shit off. You sit with your friends, <clears throat> bring up, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. And then steer the conversation. And every time they try to bring it back, keep going that way. Make it clear, I don't want to talk about it. If that person, if they want y'all to fucking film together, fucking film together. Just don't talk to her. Do everything but give her that shine because if you make her irrelevant, then she ceases to exist, but you're going to let her come on and take your spot. Is a is is a real easy way to sit here and dead a situation like that and pay somebody complete and utter fucking dust. She has to learn it. <clears throat> so last thing that I want to bring up is with these reviews, as it looks right now, for the next three weeks, I'm going to be in my A Monday through Friday. So I might if I'm able to give you guys a review for <clears throat> Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, chances are is going to be black screen because I'll be on location. If not, then you'll get the review probably Saturday or Sunday. And if I just can't give it to you, then I'll either individually do the videos when I come back after three weeks or just do a fucking mashup. I don't know, but I'm letting you guys know in advance. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys for the next video. Peace.